പൊന്നൂലത്തുമ്പിൽ പൂവാലിത്തുമ്പിൽ ആട് ആട് നീയാടാട് നക്ഷത്രപ്പൂവെ നവരാത്രിപ്പൂവെ അഴകി പൂഞ്ചോലാടാട് നീയില്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇന്ന് ജന്മം വേനൽ കണവായി പോയി പോയേനെ നീയില്ലെങ്കിൽ സ്വപ്നം പോലും മിന്നൽ കതിരുകളായി പോയേനെ പൊന്നൂലത്തുമ്പിൽ പൂവാലിത്തുമ്പിൽ ആട് ആട് നീയാടാട് നക്ഷത്രപ്പൂവെ നവരാത്രി പൂവെ അഴകി പൂഞ്ചോലാടാട്
ആവാളും ചിരാതിൽ നീ തിളങ്ങുമ്പോ ഓരോ സുഹാസവും ഓരോ ദലം നീ പൂവനം I don't even know what words I could say that would justify really how amazing you are. Um, he's done so much for our Indian community, so much for our Malayali community, and so much for the Kerala Center. So without further ado, I would like you to please help me welcome Mr. Thomas Abraham, Dr. Thomas Abraham to the stage. Thank you. Thank you, Daisy. You know, Ambassador just pointed out to me, I didn't know that it was a Marathi dance, but thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador was so happy that we Malayalis are performing Marathi dance. I didn't know, I think these people did not know that you were coming, but still, so glad that uh, we could, we could, uh, you know, of your, I think they didn't know that you are of Marathi origin. But uh, it's so wonderful that, you know, Malayalis do all kind of dance, whether it is Bhangda or Garba or Marathi dance. We are so diverse and we learn very fast. You know, Ambassador Mule challenged us that we have settled here for four or five decades. Now that he's challenging us what we could do for Kerala. So last year we took an initiative 
that is to Kerala to take interest in new generation technologies. You know, Kerala is like America. You know, the place is so expensive. Land is very expensive. The labor cost is very expensive. So we felt that in Kerala, we can't have, we, we cannot have large manufacturing units. The only way we could do is to have new generation technologies with high value added products. So we took this initiative last year in conjunction with the last uh, awards banquet, a two day summit. And again, we took that summit to Kerala where our chief minister and several ministers as well as several bureaucrats and uh, industrialists and businessmen, they all came. And we are continuing this process because this is a continuing process for the next five, six years because nothing is going to happen. <laughs> nothing is going to happen in one year. It is a continuing process. And in the process what we are doing, we are identifying people who are highly successful. And the good part about Kerala Center is in 23 years, we have identified a, over 100, 120 people who have made outstanding contributions in American institutions, universities, government institutions, private companies. So we brought that, we brought those people and we are building up the critical mass. So we are going to, Ambassador Muller, we are going to challenge the Kerala people, Kerala administration and Indian. See, we want to show it as a model first to Kerala. So we can transfer, we can make that happen in all our state. So we are going to challenge our people in India in terms of how we can take new technology. And that's what we did and we have good sponsors for this technology summit. We had, just want to recognize them. Uh, the Sabinsa Corporation, may I request all of you to just uh, take a bow, Sabinsa Corporation, one of the major corporations. And uh, from Staybridge, uh, Mr. Nainan is, I think, standing behind somewhere. And Mr. Silesh Nayak, from, uh, he has been supporting all the time. He's also the president of Society of Indian American Engineers. And then we have two other sponsors, uh, Mr. Shaji, Baby John, and uh, uh, say uh, another company uh, from New Jersey, Abraham Philip and Saji uh, George. Anyway, thank you all the sponsors, and we had a very wonderful conference today and I just want to ask all the speakers who would you please stand up but just take a bow all the speakers today's conference and the people are standing take a bow for those who are the speakers today thank you thank you for coming and some of them came from far off places so the, we are building up the critical mass now coming back to the awards you know last two decades we have a very rigorous process for selection of awards. We invite nominations in different categories. We generally have between three to five award committee members. And we look at all the nominations. We get a whole lot of nominations. And it is for outstanding achievements, accomplishments, as well as service to the society. And our committee has to agree unanimously for a candidate, then only we can give an award in that category. Otherwise, we won't give it an award. So I want to press, uh, to introduce our award committee members. Uh, Dr. Teresa Anthony, would you please take a bow? And then uh, Dr. Madhu Bhaskaran. In fact, Madhu Bhaskaran is going to be our incoming chairman of the board. Thank you, Madhu. And of course, Daisy Babindran. Daisy, you have already met Daisy Babindran our uh, MC for this evening. So we start with the ceremony right now. Uh, to Also, before I go, uh, we have several awardees who are present here. Would you all take us about all those awardees before? Please take us about all the awardees who are present here. The previous awardees, previous year's awardees. Thank you, thank you for coming. Now, to present the first award, I request our Kerala Center Vice President Alex Estefan and Professor Swami Sundaran. Would you please both of you join here? And Professor Swami Sundaran, I know you always come and support. You came to the summit in Thiruvanthavaram. Alex, please come. Um, 
I request uh, Professor Som also to say a few words of greetings. He, Pro, uh, Professor Somasundar is a very distinguished professor in Columbia University. Um, he has a chair and uh, you know he has graduated more than 200 PhDs and master's students. Even now he has over a dozen graduate postdoctoral students as well as PhD students. Professor see a, please say a few words of greeting. Thomas asked me to reflect on what Kerala Center has done and can do. I think Kerala Center has been a great unifying force for Keralaites. And I think, I really believe that it can do wonders to, put, to make Kerala the first, the greatest state in India and put Kerala in the map of the world. Why, why do I think so? I think you will all agree we have the best brains in the world, right? If you look at the 3D printers, nanotechnology, most of the important inven inventions have come from Kerala. And we have the resources, circle, uh, the beach sand with the rivets, which are important for cell phones and, cell phones and all that, and, uh, and many, many of those things. Now, Ambassador said, don't waste minerals and energy. Another important thing in which we have resource and we cannot afford to waste is water. Without water and food, we cannot survive. And it is possible for Kerala to become number one in India and put, put a mark on the world by developing technology, technology to extract water from sea water. We have the largest at the largest seashore per capita. And we have also, as I mentioned, many of these minerals. It is possible. And also, treat sewage to get water. Just to give you an idea, is that possible in a decade? Yes. Just to tell you, in a, in a minute, a country which has done it, and which can, which can do, a country which has done, which can inspire us, is Israel. In late 1940s, Israel was told, by Britain that we cannot allow any Jews to immigrate, any Jews to immigrate to Palestine. Well, you know that they, a lot of them have immigrated. The reason they said was, there were political reasons, there was no water, not enough water. It's a semi-arid country. But they, they developed technology to take seawater and also sewage water, sewage water treated, treated such that you can drink. But because it is yuck, factor, egg factor, you know, you don't drink it, but they use it for agriculture. And they, they developed, let me just read you one, two sentences as to what they have done. 60% uh, of Israel is desert, and the rest is semi-arid. Since its founding in 1948, the country's population has grown more than tenfold. No one was allowed to immigrate, but because water was made available, tenfold. One of the fastest growth rates in the post-World War II era. Israel was started poor, but now the middle class is the norm. No poor, middle class is the norm. And rainfall, not very generous to begin with, has dropped by more than half. And now Israel can not only supply all the water that is required for the entire country, but it also exports to neighboring countries, including quote unquote enemies. They export uh, to Iraq, Iran and so on. They said water is, the next war will be for water. But actually in this case, water has developed friendly relationship, diplomatic countries, I, diplomatic relationship. I think, I think uh, Kerala can also do that. We have a lot of resources and I think we can develop technology, engineers, if we can inspire our kids to go to science and technology. If the local media can celebrate scientists and engineers in addition to politicians and uh, Philip, 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 Philip people, I think we have a great chance. Thank you. Yeah, so I think we have a, we have a great opportunity under Kerala Center, under, under the umbrella of Kerala Center, we can develop technology. We stand united and put our effort once, once Thank you. Alex?
music is coming from upstairs. So speak loud. I am here to introduce our first awardee today. That is Dr. Navin Manchuran. Dr. Navin Manchuran is the Global Director Energy for Siemens AG and is responsible for the entire Siemens energy portfolio. He also serves as an engineering professor at the Virginia Tech. Naveen graduated with a, a BE degree from NIT Warangal, a MS from University of Florida, Gainville, USA, PhD from Virginia Tech, Blackburg, USA, all with the highest orders and later on completed a MBA from University of Chicago. Naveen has 11 patents, disclosures, 9 books, 37 publications and 50, 51 presentations at national international conferences. He has received several awards including TMS Young Leader, ASO International Leadership Award and Siemens Performance Award. Naveen is a member of the U.S. Technology Advisory Board and Virginia Tech University Board and the Board of Trustee of University of Chicago. I request, I request Dr. Manjuran come to the stage. May I request something? Come. Hello. Navi, you want to say a couple of words? I want to thank uh, the Kerala Center for this award and uh, I was pretty impressed today uh, morning with the with the uh, summit. I think there was a lot of debate and discussion uh, about most of the topics ranging from uh, IT to energy. And I think it's definitely uh, in this 23rd year, uh, there's been uh, a lot of success and I think it's a, definitely a good forum to uh, bring in all the, uh, the, the right people and, and try to make the change uh, that we're looking to have. But thank you once again and I'm uh, humbled by this opportunity and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, being an uh, active member of this uh, center as well. Thank you. To present the next awardee, I request Jimmy John, the sec secretary of Kerala Center, and trustee of, Gopi, uh, trustee of Kerala Center, Gopi Menon, to join here. Gopi and Jimmy. I have the privilege of uh, it, f uh, to announce the announce the rec uh, the award for recognition of outstanding contribution in information technology to Dr. Sasi K. Pillay. Dr. Sasi K. Pillay served as a CIO of the of the University of Wisconsin system, comprising 26 campuses where he has started several initiatives such as the Innovative Program and Business Intelligence while managing a portfolio of shared services totaling $45 million. In his prior roles at NASA, Dr. Pillay oversaw the IT Innovation Program consisting of global crowdsourcing and the launch of the Innovation Program which has won several national awards. He is also the recipient of the, Nash, of the NASA Outstanding Leadership Medal, NASA Exceptional Service Medal, and the U.S. President's Rank Award as a Meritorious Executive. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. Dr. Sasi Kipile.
I just wanted to read one of the awardees, uh, award was it, uh, the plaque, what it read. Indian American Kerala Cultural and Civic Center, award 2015 presented to Dr. Sashi K. Pillai for outstanding achievements and contributions in information technology. Signed, Thambi Dharapandil President, Jimmy John, General Secretary, and Gopal Naya, Chairman of the Board, Elmond Dion, December, November 7, 2015. Sashi. Uh, hello, good evening everyone and special recognition to the ambassador. Uh, thank you um, for this opportunity. I am humbled and honored for this, hon for this honor and privilege. Uh, first of all, let me thank the award committee and also the Kerala Cultural and Civic Center for bestowing this award on me. Uh, but I have to say this award I'm taking on behalf of the entire staff that I had the privilege of working with. Uh, even though I'm being recognized, it's the hard work of the staff that I was privileged to manage uh, to get these types of national recognitions. And again, thank you very much. I'll be amiss if I don't recognize my wife, Rupa, and our children that helped me get here. And of course, I also want to give my special thanks to my parents who started me on this journey of the Earn for Learning for a Lifetime. Thank you, everyone. To present the next award. To present the next award, um, I request our incoming chairman of the board, Dr. Madhu Bhaskaran, who himself was recognized uh, two or three years back. He is also director at the North Shore Hospital in one of the division. And our trustee, Mr. G. Matai. Would you please join here, Ms. Matai? Mr. Madhu, Bhaskar. Thank you. This year, the award committee had the great privilege of uh, reviewing many celebrated care lives, and it was a great pleasure to see each one of the CV and go through them. Um, made me very proud to be a Carolite. Every few years, the Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research identifies one of its students worthy of an outstanding gold medal. It's not given every year, and 1994 was one of the years. And our next awardee that I'm going to introduce received that gold medal. He's the current director of nuclear cardiology and clinical translation medicine at University of Pittsburgh Medical School. He's also geared to be the next future president of uh, American Society of Nuclear Cardiology in 2018, one of the highest honors in his society. And he is the, he wrote the guidelines for the Imaging Council for the American College of Cardiology. It's my pride and privilege and pleasure to introduce the next awardee, Dr. Prem Soman. Mr. Ambassador, uh, leaders of the Kerala Centre, ladies and gentlemen, my dear friend Madhu, uh, in each of our lives, 
There are certain occasions that are perhaps more special than most others, and uh, nothing perhaps is more special than being recognized, the kindness of the recognition from your own community. For that, I remain deeply indebted uh, to the Kerala Centre uh, and its leaders. I feel extremely privileged and honored to share this podium with other people uh, of Kerala origin who have achieved so much. Um, and one, Captain Phillips, whose service perhaps uh, far exceeds all our contributions to society. Um, in the past few days, uh, I've become more familiar with the uh, activities and mission of the Kerala Centre, and I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the leadership of the Centre for its extraordinary uh, vision and its extraordinary mission uh, and, and for taking an active role in, in promoting the culture and, and the people uh, of Kerala origin. Thank you very much. To present the next awardee, I request uh, Kerala Centre Treasurer Thomas Thornton and another well-known journalist, Mr. Ajay Ghosh, to join me here. Ajay Ghosh. And Thomas. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Recognition in journalism, and for community service, I'd like to introduce Dr. George M. Kakanat. Dr. George Kakanat, a former U.S. Air Force captain, is a professional psychotherapist. George is one of the founding members and former Global General Secretary of the World Malayali Council, Green Kerala Foundation, an artist youth program. He is the president of the South Indian U.S. Chamber of Commerce and also president of the Houston chapter of Indian Press, Press sorry, Press Club of North America. Dr. George is the managing director and editor of Chief of Archavatam, Malayalam News, weekly publishing from Houston. Dr. George received several awards for his creative commitment to the several global communities. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands for Dr. George M. Kathanath. receive this honorable award. I left New York in 1997 and uh, I'm a very proud resident of Texas in Houston, actually in Sugarland, Texas. <coughs> uh, I immigrated to, migrated to New York, uh, America and I came to New York and my kindergarten classes as a community leader got it from the Kerala Center. I looked uh, Mr. Stephen, my role model, I see him, you know, very much. I was so happy to see him here. Dr. Thomas Abraham, Mr. Tambi Thalapati, I saw him after several years. So they are my gurus in my community services in, in this great country. And I'm very privileged, I'm very humbled 
to receive this award from the Kerala Center, very prestigious. Because getting an award from your own place is really appreciable and great. I am so honored. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, George. To present the next award, I request our trustee, Manohar Thomas, and our trustee, our board of director, Manohar Thomas, and trustee, James Thornton, to join me here. Manohar? And James? James has been a great volunteer even today for our technology summit. He takes care of a lot of stuff. Priya Sukhurthakle, I am going to introduce you to the Ms. Leila Maharatini. I am going to introduce you to the American Kudiyari Partha. Ayeran kita lila mayat ini hari ia tu dunda guna jangan bicara kita ni. Patranggal ini TV ini lom ini orang jenil kiri. Nama kita sabuk ini perwatahan orang kat uru kayu perdan kerjanya orang ni lila mayat. Satu itu le, abar cahaya itu buatnya kairing ni lepeti orang list ini kita anda banyak anda ni nanti ni pui. Atramatram perwatahanan gaya cuaca, lila mayat ini, ia awal urut dengan ini, ini kerjanya yang kemaya, uru abimana tuh ni ada. Aduk Kerala Center ni nairte itu tuh tuh ni la, itu beri ni saya sampaikan. Lila mayat has been doing superb job as a volunteer in many community organisations for the last three decades. Working as a scientist for the last 29 years at New York City's Environmental Protection. Leela is also adjunct lecturer in Bronx Unit Community College. Leela serves as a recording secretary of local employee union 375 for the city. Delegate for Central Labor Council. Fokana National Women's Forum Chair. Vice President of Vice President of South Asians for Labor and Vice President of INOC. She had served as the President of Kerala Samajam and in other capabilities of several other organizations, including Fukana. She has helped to organize Asian, Asian Heritage Diwali function at New York City Hall. Kerala, Pirami, and other events in the Indian consulate. Actively participated in water registration, taught Malayalam at St. John's University, and took part in the testimony of redirecting of Richmond Hill to unite South Asians. She is the recipient of various community awards, such as NYC Controllers Community Service Award, and two Pravasia Awards. I invite Lila Mara to get the award. joined by many of his, uh, her Fokana colleagues. May I miss, request Mr. Marit also to join here? Mr. Marit? And may I request all the Fokana colleagues to just take a bow? All the Fokana, Fokana colleagues, please take a bow. Please stand. Thank you. Lila.
Honorable Ambassador Mule, leaders of Kerala Center. I am really honored and humbled for receiving this award for the services of different communities in different fields and is acknowledged by a reputable institution like Kerala Center. I am proud also because this award made me a part with nationally and globally renowned contributors. May co my co-awardees present here with ownership of patents, publications, and other rich contributions. I consider this as an acknowledgement that community service is a rich global contribution. Any kind of community service involves dedication, discipline, perseverance, and persistence in the face of huddle and muddle wheels from all different directions. It also demands self-reliance in the sense that most of the time you are on your own. Rewards and acknowledgements are ha hard to come by when you are serving the community. Today, I am really glad that my community <coughs> acknowledges me by conferring me on this award, which I consider for my selfless hard work and service. I take this opportunity to highly applaud the greatness that Kerala Center stands for, in addition to the numerous community events the Center sponsors and cradles in its home building. It is highly commendable that the board and the committee members organizes this unique event annually which helps bring to light our renowned scientists, academics, technology specialists, community work, the Kerala and the Indian community owes a lot to this cultural center for its long-standing vision, which for sure is its energy source and the dedicated service mission it has been carrying out for almost a century. Lastly, I'd like to thank all the community leaders and my friends and family, especially my husband, Rajan Marit, who is coping with me with all my running around, and my daughter, Regini Marit, and my son-in-law, Sunil. And I have all the organizations that I'm involved, like Fokana, uh, Board of Trustee, Chairman Paul Karagapulli is here. And Kerala Samajam, uh, the former president, Varghese Potanikad is here. And representing India Catholic Association, the former president, Mary Philippi is here. And INOC Secretary, Harbachan Singh is here. So let me thank all of you who came far, from far and near to support me in this honorable event. Thank you once again. Thank you, Leela. So, to present the final award for this evening, I request Daisy Babindran and our Kerala Center accountant who keeps all our books intact. Abraham Philip to join me here. Abraham Philip. And Daisy. So, 
I think that it's safe to say that our childhood memories are some of the most memorable, the most cherished, and some of the most invaluable memories that you carry on with you your entire life. Would you agree? Your childhood memories are some that you hold so dear to your heart. So never did I ever realize that one of the people that I spent my childhood growing up with would become a national hero. I have the honor of presenting you our recipient for the Service to the Nation Award. Captain Jovial Phillips was born in this city that we're in, Queens, New York, and my Queens people make some noise. <laughs> and it's here that he was able to pursue his passion for football and earn a scholarship at St. Francis Prep for that. Oh yeah, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> he went on to play four years of college football where he started as a, as a wide receiver. After coaching football at the university level, Captain Phillips went to law school where he won numerous academic awards and they loved him so much that they asked him to make the commencement speech. Captain Phillips is a judge advocate general in the US Air Force and during his recent deployment, he was awarded the Purple Heart as well as I got more to say about this man. As well as the Bronze Star for his actions in protecting service members from harm after an insurgent attack where eight of his comrades died. So if you Google hero, what happens and what comes up is a hero is a man of distinguished courage or ability, admired for his brave deeds and noble qualities. And I don't think that there is a man in this room that truly fits that definition than our recipient of the Service to the Nation Award. And I would please ask that you all rise, rise, please stand and help me in acknowledging our hero, <laughs> Captain Joe Kelly. <laughs> Captain Philip's parents here, just take your bow. And other family members. Captain Philip? The mariachi band stuff, I guess. <laughs> Welcome to Queens. Today, as I came in here, I didn't know there were so many service members who also served. And Wednesday is Veterans Day, so all the service members, whether you serve in the Indian, military or the United States military, please rise and you all deserve a, a huge round of applause. Please rise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It might take some time, because as you heard, I, I received a couple of awards from being in Kabul, Afghanistan. I want to take some time to talk about that. Also, also the children in here who do great things, I encourage you to follow your passion. Do what you want to do in life. You'll be surprised how far it takes you. So if you look at the American flag, which I have right here, you have the 50 stars representing the states, and you have red, white, and blue. The white represents purity. Blue represents justice, and the red represents courage and valor. It's the color of blood. 
There are many places in this world where we deploy our men and women to be the beacon of hope, to be the voice for people who can't speak, to be the heart, to be the people who seek justice on behalf of those who cannot seek it themselves. I was fortunate to go to Kabul, Afghanistan this year. And when I was there, I talked to my, the generals that were there, older comrades, and they told me how well Kabul had advanced. They told me that the women's rights has advanced and children were going to school. And I saw it. I saw children play outside as I drove in Kabul. And it was beautiful. It was beautiful. But when there's good, there's bad. Of course, there are people in Afghanistan that don't want this to happen. My job over there as a military judge advocate, military lawyer, was to advise the command on the Taliban, on Al-Qaeda, on ISIS, on the Haqqani network, and, and to advise them on who we can get, how we can get them, the method on which to get them with. And of course, they didn't like that. On 7 August 2015, we were followed back to our camp. It was a small camp, special operations camp, after a mission. I was outside with the rest of my comrades when a vehicle-borne IED, 750-pound suicide bomber, in his truck detonated the bomb, creating a hole in the bench, in the, in the camp. Seven people in front of me, immediately in front of me, died. This was 10.15, Kabul time. I talked to my mom later on and she said, when it was 10.15 Kabul time, it was around 2.30 American time, and she was in the church praying. Her prayers did a lot of good. I was the closest person who didn't die. I was lying on the ground unconscious after being knocked down, knocked in the air. I might get emotional now. When I was lying there, First Sergeant Peter McKenna sprinted down and fired in my direction towards five tal four Taliban member members who came into the camp wearing suicide vests. If he didn't do that, I wouldn't be here right now. I guarantee you that. First Sergeant Paqueta was hit, was shot. He refused to leave the fight. He was shot a second time, and he died. Master Sergeant George Vera was the second man up. He was shot in the back, and he's paralyzed today. We recovered quick enough, and we got our weapons, and we secured the base, or secured the camp, eventually killing the Taliban members that made it through. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, because I know I've seen it. We have brave men and women, our sons and daughters, all around the globe, whether it be in Syria fighting ISIS, whether it be in Africa, fighting Boko Haram, whether it be in Afghanistan, fighting the folks that I was there fighting. When you see these service members, please recognize them and thank them for their service. Every day they wake up not knowing whether they're gonna live or die. And they do this so we can have our celebrations. We can enjoy our families. They do it so we can be free. Thank my family, I, I put them through a tough time for these past months and they've been praying for me, my family and friends, I love them so much. And uh, I, I dedicate this award to First Sergeant Peter McKenna, who gave his life to save mine and the many young, brave men and women who gave their lives so all of us can be free here in America. God bless you all, God bless India, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you so much. Thank you, Asmani and Molly, Captain Freedom. At this point, may I request all the awardees to join me here with your plaque for a group photo. All the awardees.
Please join. All the awardees. Please come in the back. join me here and all the board members of Kerala Center would you please come down carefully huh? all the awardees and the chief guests board members and trustees, please come. Another round of applause. Thank you. I think we have an exceptional, exceptional group of Malayalis that we recognize today. Nobody wants to let go of a hero, a photo opportunity with a hero. <laughs> to ask Bindia Prasad to please come up. She is the director of Mayura School of Arts of New Jersey who has been, you know, providing us the entertainment for tonight. So I would ask Bindia to please come up, speak some words about your school and your organization and the amazing children that you have directed for us tonight. They will be doing a final performance for us, and then following that, we will have dinner, and I ask that you don't go anywhere after dinner, because then the dance floor will open, and I expect everybody to come out and enjoy themselves, okay? Bindia. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are very fortunate to be a part of this show. Um, I just uh, would like to thank um, Mr. Tom uh, Abraham, who is uh, who invited us to perform here, and uh, I would like to uh, introduce uh, our performers, my students, uh, to recognize them on the stage. Uh, Sharon George, please come. Marin Jacob, Alyssa Matthew. 
Ashwin Kumar, Achida Alex, Tina, Nilima, Simran Singh. They all are, um, Ashwin is our master for Bollywood in our institution. They all are the students and uh, in this busy schedule of their busy homework and exams going on with the special invitation they said uh, they are going to come here and perform for the wonderful audience and thank you so much. Our Mayuro School of Arts have different location. Our base location is in Bergen Field and we are fortunate to have many locations in Edison, Yonger, Safun. So anybody in this crowd who wanted to join for our dancer school, you are welcome. We have our visiting cards. So please enjoy and thank you so much for inviting us here. Thank you. finale it's a mix of three chain dances the beginning performance was a semi-classical Hindi song piece um, the second dance was um, a performance uh, from the Marathi uh, state and it's called Lavani uh, hope everybody enjoyed it and our the next to the last one is the grand finale thank you
मैं डालो दाल पे भंग डालो तू भी गिद्दा डाले चल रंग जमा दे हम के बने सभी मत वाले Have a safe trip back home and enjoy the rest of the evening. The